Love cares for others more than self. Love does not want what it does not have. Love does not strut, does not have a swelled head. Love does not uh, force itself on others, does not fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel in or grovel, but takes pleasure when the truth flowers. Love always trusts God, always looks to the best, never looks back, but always keeps going to the end. Love never dies. For, for now, we have three things to do. Trust steadily, hope unswervingly, and love extravagantly. The best of these is love. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the institution of marriage that is brought us here today, and how you have established it to be a, a place where a man and a woman can meet together and live together as one in Christ. We pray, Lord, that you would bless our ceremony today and bless Amanda and Jim as they give their vows and, and as we all witness these vows, may we be filled with, with prayer and with love and with your grace. Now, every marriage needs a magic wand. I want to tell you this. I have brought for you a magic wand. <laughs> Anytime you have problems in your marriage, I want you to pick up this magic wand. And I'm going to explain to you the meaning of it. You don't have to hold it until you take it home with you afterwards. But um, you know what? There are five, five points to every star. If you were going to put together a picture of a star, it has five points. And so I'm going to tell you five points to this magic wand. And if you, if you have those five things, Please, as we begin our vows. 
Jim, will you marry? Will you have a man to be your wedded wife to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, keep yourself for her alone as long as you both shall live. Amanda, will you uh, have Jim to be your wedded husband to live together in God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, will you keep yourself for him as long as you both shall live? Jim, repeat after me. I, Jim, take you, Amanda, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, <coughs> for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. Amanda, repeat after me. I, Amanda, take you, Jim, to be my wedded husband, have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Jim, what do you give in token, as, a, as a token of your love for Amanda? Up today.
I would like you to join in saying the Lord's Prayer together. If you know what, you'll feel free to pray along with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and for as much as Jim and Amanda have given their ring to each other and have exchanged their vows, I now pronounce them man and wife. You may kiss the bride.
awesome. Keep going.